What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. I got a super casual door for you guys to check out back on YGO Pro Link format. This is Rabbit Control versus uh, Crawlers. I don't know, honestly, what the <laughs> make of this Rabbit deck, but yeah, there's a whole lot of bunnies in this deck. If you like uh, Rabbit action, you'll probably get a kick out of this. And then Crawlers, I don't know. I didn't really think much of them. I started playing them on uh, the last couple of live streams I had, and I'm starting to understand what they can actually do uh there are some cards like dandelion and scapegoat that are really strong in the deck actually on my last live stream i killed an omega i summoned two mrs radiance and uh two different crawler link monsters all in one turn using a whole bunch of cards and it was it, it was very empowering it was actually pretty awesome i had the uh the crawler monsters each gained like 1600 attack with the field spell but it was pretty dope now this version that you guys are gonna see uh, I don't know, man. I think his deck building needs a little bit of work because he uh, he's run some cards in there that I don't necessarily agree with. But I've been talking for t I've been talking in <laughs> talking for too much. <laughs> Let's go ahead and roll this one. I don't think it needs much setup. Anyways, crawlers are generally. Since they're a flip effect deck, they're going to set a lot of monsters. He's going to go ahead and he's going to attack with his wind up rabbit. When's the last time you guys saw a wind up rabbit summon to the field turn one? <laughs> Don't usually see that a lot. He activates spiders later, but that's going to get uh, that's going to get hit with that ghost ogre and uh, doesn't really do much for him. Uh, you see a vanilla is going to get set. That's a troll card. I run that in my Bible Black New Testament deck, so <laughs> that's it's nothing but a troll card. The great the greatest thing about vanilla is it's a level Level one with over 2,000 defense. Like it, the Bundela's defense is actually crazy. He summons another copy of Wine Up Rabbit. Does not want to attack anymore. I think once he realized he was playing against crawlers, he was like, "All right, I'm not attacking anymore because they're all flips, and you know you don't want to attack constantly in the flips." He's gonna activate the uh the crawler drendites but that get hit that gets hit with the uh, ash forehead but that does allow him to summon the world legacy world armor now personally i don't run this card i think that it's way too situational i mean it's nice that it searches like um it searches a world legacy card once it's special summoned but i don't know dude high level monsters and crawlers like i, I don't like mixing high level monsters and flip effect decks we i constantly talk about that with uh with subterrors and why i don't like them as an archetype but anyways he it's working right now for him clears out his opponent's field or actually most of the wind up rabbits just dodge the uh dodge the attacks and he only cleared out one monster now check this out he's gonna go for verilo dragon verilo dragon is one of those monsters that can just destroy the crawlers because what it can do is it can attack them when they are face down and before you actually go into like the damage step and you flip it up it can basically just snatch still the monsters you saw him take the world armor and basically it just snatched stole it and it dies during the end phase he gets it with mirror force but that doesn't actually matter because he just uses call to haunted to bring it back another reason why it's such a a, a just a hard card to deal with for crawlers is you cannot target very low dragon with monster effects so yeah crawlers have a monster that's very similar to man eater bug and uh you just can't use it <laughs> you can't use it on it so it's very difficult for them to actually kill this fucking card so he uses back to the front and he gets his world armor back problem is he is he's just having a hard time getting rid of it he's gonna go ahead he uses Forbidden Lance. The problem is he's going to chain the Verilo Dragon effect to shrink this guy down to size. And he still can't get over this damn card. And once I saw this, I was like, bro, I think if he doesn't kill this Verilo Dragon, I think he's just going to die to that card. He uses a flip effect for Crawler Spine. And then he just realizes that's not going to work. Crawler Spine obviously says target one monster your opponent controls. and uh, Or actually target one monster on the field so you can blow your own stuff up. But nobody does that. He realizes, hey, I can't target Verilo Dragon, so I'm just going to die. <laughs> He uses back to the front on uh his copy of Rescue or not Rescue Rabbit was discarded on his copy of Wind Up Rabbits and I think the duel is all but over. You're seeing how much work Verilo Dragon can actually do. I've become a little obsessed with this card, summoning it on my live stream. I'm like, yo, Verilo Dragon is so difficult to summon. But if your opponent doesn't kill it, it will do work. It will constantly take their monsters. Those monsters will be able to attack your opponent. And then, best of all, the monsters never go back to your opponent. They go to the graveyard as well. He tries to go ahead and pop the wind-up rabbit. Unfortunately, it dodges the effect. He's going to take his opponent's monsters, trade those in for Proxy Dragon, another good thing about taking your opponent's monsters is you can link summon with them and uh it doesn't really matter what you take you, every monster is pretty much you know like every monster is a uh, uh, useful when it comes to link summoning he's finally able to go for some offense he goes for the phantom knights of break sword start using those call of the haunteds that are all but dead on the field and verilo dragon 
at this point is just unstoppable and i think the duel is pretty much over i like the way he i like the way he's expanded his field too uh so nice and when you only have one face down uh monster against a very low dragon you might as well just concede at that point so very low dragon just takes over this entire duel and that is pretty much the end of it now if he would have been playing a more competitive version of crawlers that didn't run some of the uh like bricky cards like world armor maybe he would have done a little better but in general i still think very low dragon is just a it's a really hard counter to crawlers because if you're actually going to get rid of that thing oh man you're gonna have to do something like i did you're gonna have to summon like multiple mrs radiance plus like one of the crawler link monsters and you probably need to do it in like the same turn so i don't know bust out the dandelions or the scapegoats or something like that or i guess just have like a mirror force anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the duel yes i know it was obviously super casual these are uh two table 500 decks i know people were like cap g you're finally back to showing the low tier decks on your uh <laughs> your your replays and your duels and uh anyways thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and uh, turn on those notifications for daily videos